Chucks and see the animals. It's really important. They won't let us see the animals. To have that moment yeah. When they're coming in. Yeah. We only want like 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah. We just want to see the animals before they get slaughtered, how so we can have. Many, how many have about four. Four trucks. Four trucks. They're, they're usually spent. Well, what, from what I've seen, they're spent dairy cows. Yeah. So when the cow, cows can't produce milk anymore, they, they're not viable. They're not a viable source of income for them. So they kill them for their bodies. Yeah. Also, um, when we're at on Tuesday, you might have heard about that. They kill a lot of their bobby calves there. Okay, so the, the, the male calves don't produce milk, so they're not they're useless to the dairy industry as well. So they um, they kill them too. Sometimes they kill them on their first day of life, which is welfare standard as well. They hit them blunt force trauma. It has to be within 24 hours of, of birth though, and they can kill them with a hammer. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty humane, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that is humane standard yeah. for welfare of shark. So it makes you think, eh? Hey, yeah, well, it's such a big scale, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we consider humane in this society, and I think people just uh, get stuck in the fact that there, there are worse ways to die. Like, you could torture someone and kill them. Yeah. But I think, like, it's not humane to end someone's life. That's really you really know, to have an interest in living. I can see your point. Yeah. Because if we replace the cows with dogs, we would say there's no humane way to kill those dogs, yeah. unless they were suffering. Yeah. Euthanasia, maybe. So. And you see some pretty gruesome videos on, online, of the dogs over in Thailand and that getting Oh, and it's interesting, and, isn't it? Yeah. Like how, if it's dogs, we scream bloody murder and point the finger overseas, but we've got cows, chickens, pigs, lambs, goats, baby cow calves, you know, yeah. that we're doing over here and we don't seem to yeah. care about that. So you don't eat meat? I don't eat or use any animals. Anyone here eat meat? No. No. Eat, no. Um, no. Not after what we've seen and how we've, what we've yeah. experienced and connected with animals. Like they're just like dogs and cats. You know, they're mm. intelligent. They feel, experience joy. And yeah. cows are like dogs. No, the thing is, like, we don't need to eat them for our health. So we, we've, there's plenty of science to say that plant-based diets are the healthiest on earth. You know. Heart disease is the number one killer. Yeah. Saturated fat and cholesterol is only found in animal products. It's a win-win. So you guys are part of a community or a group? This is part of the SAVE movement. It's a worldwide movement where we bear witness to animals before they're slaughtered. So this happens worldwide now. We're all vegan, meaning we don't eat, yeah. use or wear animals. I think it changes your perspective when you see the animals on the way to slaughter. You think, you make the connection that, hey, this isn't food. This isn't just a burger. This was a living being that didn't want to die. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a trial. Yeah, well, yeah. It is a shame. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, uh, we all have power in what happens in our lives. Like, we can make a massive impact just by not consuming these products. Because mm. over the course of our lives, we pay for or consume the bodies of these animals. Yeah. And if you stop, then you've made a massive dent in that. And you've, sa you've said, hey, I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah. So that's how we slowly abolish these industries. And I don't think these industries can be around forever because majority of people think that would think that what happens in this place is unjust and just disgusting. They wouldn't want to eat it. So it's just a matter of time before people wake up to that, I think. Yeah, it'd be hard to get everyone on the site. No. You would never get everyone. If we get enough yeah. people standing up. That's it. Anything's possible. Anything. There would have been a time when um, slave owners wouldn't have thought that their slaves would be freed. You know, and they, the, 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 the reason they got freed is because the abolitionists stood up, you know. Yeah, cool. Which card is it? It's got some information on there. On the back is my special link to do a challenge, 22 days. Yeah, you can see what the, all the... Mushrooms We got ice cream. The legal part. We got ice cream, burgers, cheese, hot dogs, everything you need. Pizza. Yeah. Mock meats. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. No dogs They're plant-based, no cholesterol. I signed up 192 people last week through that link. Yeah. Good, good for the system. You know that your arteries can repair themselves. Atherosclerosis reverses itself when you stop putting cholesterol and saturated fat in. So people can have, you know, triple bypass and have clogged up arteries. But a plant-based diet, low-fat plant-based diet, is reversing heart disease in patients. Yeah, right. It's the only diet known to reverse. 
days you got? Vegan? Yeah. Four years. Four years. I'd always do the math. How many animals' lives I've saved, you mean? By being vegan? It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Then you got water, water use. They gotta, they gotta feed, water the plants to feed the cattle. Yeah. The cattle need to drink water too. So over the course of their life, they're using all these resources that 50% of the grain in the, in the US is fed to cattle and livestock when it should be fed to these starving countries. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, could end, you could end world hunger if we stop feeding 60 billion, 70 billion land animals every year. Yeah, I try to have meat free Mondays, sometimes. Yeah. It's ingrained, isn't it? It's ingrained. I used to eat animals three times a day. Yeah. Flat out. I was eating bacon for breakfast, eggs, cheese on everything, big steaks. Mm. You know, I'm, I was really big. Yeah. No, I didn't even think, I just thought it was food and I didn't even think it was an animal, you know. Yeah, right. And I never really used to care that much about animals, you know, but I just, all I knew is that it's wrong to do that to them. Mm. You know, you don't have to love animals or love cows or think chickens are amazing. Yeah. You just have to agree that it's wrong to torture, exploit or chop yeah. one of their heads off when we don't need to, you know. So even in a, like a, like a sustainable farm? Well, put dogs in that sustainable farm and tell me if it's moral to put yeah. them in a slaughterhouse. They get sick or something, I guess. To euthanize an animal. Euthanize an animal. It's different because you've made the conscious decision, okay, it's in their best interest to die. They're, yeah. they're suffering more than they need to. Yeah. Okay, and the animal would probably p prefer passing. Yeah. yeah. That's not what happens in, especially yeah, yeah. in sustainable farms when cows are happy. Yeah. We're ending in a happy animal's life. Mm. So they have more of an interest in living. At least in, in these factory farms, they know what's coming next. They've yeah. never been cared for. Yeah, it's interesting when you look at it from the animal's eyes. Yeah, no, it is. You know, we're at one in Melbourne the other day, and one of the officers there was vegan because I handed everyone cards. Oh, we're yeah, we got these. Yeah. yeah, we're at the gas chambers. The gas chambers in Melbourne. You know about gas chambers, yeah? Yeah. It's, a, it's the most humane method to stun pigs in Australia. Gas chambers. They lower. Them. Well, they do have electric stunning, yeah. but they they're using gas chambers now. They can do three at a time, and they lower them down into this dungeon where they get gassed. They scream. They scream really loud. But we're out the front and the officers were hearing screams and yeah. handed out cards. And one of, a few of the officers were really affected by it, as you would. And one of them was vegan, so. Yeah. But it always takes a while for society to catch up with issues of justice, as you've seen, like, you know, some places in the world, women have no rights. See, we haven't got women's rights in some countries yet, you know. So animal rights is going to take a little bit of time, but the more people like you speaking up, mate, that's what we need. Yeah, you reckon I've got a platform? Yeah. yeah. Just as good as you, as good as you guys. You can say one thing to someone and change their life forever. Get the whole police force vegan, that'll be good. Yeah, well, it's turning that way. I think, it, I think it's prawns for dinner tonight, so no cows. I guess that's still a, a no-no, isn't it, prawns? Well, you know, prawns we, can, we, get vegan, we can get vegan prawns. Yeah, that sounds terrible. The, the prawns are the cockroaches of the sea. Are they? Yeah, they suck up all the crap at the bottom, they're bottom Crocs feeders. They're supposed to be the, the cleanest in, of all insects. Would you eat one? In Asia, maybe. <laughs> they cook them. When in Asia, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Would you eat dog if you're in Asia? Not if I knew it was dog. Okay, why is that? It's, it's just not my alley, mate. I'm, I'm, You've been I'm culturally... Cows, pigs, chickens, yeah. That's your, your culture's determined which, which animals you eat and which animals you care for, yeah? Yeah. You, have you heard the term speciesism before? No, no, Speciesism is like racism, but we, we selectively yeah, discriminate yeah. between animals. Saying, yeah. These, these animals matter. Ele elephants, dogs, cats. These animals are food to be used. And, mm. But in the animal's eyes, they all suffer the same. Yeah, exactly. So it's us that have made that distinction yeah. as culture. Do you think that's just? Probably not. It's not just? Not for the animal. It's not fair, is it? But, yeah. yeah. Prawns don't mind. Prawns don't mind? I don't know. Yeah. They might. They haven't got much the thing is with prawns, you're scooping up all the prawns, but also 40% of animals that are scooped up out of the ocean are bycatch. So you're talking whales, dolphins, turtles, mm. sharks. Well, so a lot of them are farmed now, so... Yeah, it's so not... It yeah, fish farms are polluting the ocean too. Like you got, It's like a factory farm of the sea. All their fecal matter goes into the ocean. Yeah, it must be hard to stay positive. When you know the truth. Yeah, you've got so many burdens on your mind. The thing is, you talk to people and they change and it gives you a little bit of fulfillment. Mm. And we see this movement, it's growing exponentially by the year. 
Yeah. Like you never would have seen people out front of slaughterhouses as much as you would this year. No, I've never, I've never seen that. Okay, so this is happening worldwide. Yeah. People are waking up. You, That's. You expecting more or? Here today? Yeah. Is this kind of a lot? No, this is a decent amount. You can expect more in the, yeah. the months to come. There's heaps of meat works. Yeah. Tell, I'll tell you what. You do the vegan challenge and then you inbox me on my Facebook and tell me how it went. Yeah. Maybe 20 kilos lighter. You might be. If you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, you strips the weight off you. Clarity of mind. You're not, you don't have slaughterhouse food in your stomach. Oh. That's what you eat, man. Slaughterhouse food. That's what it smells like in your bowels if you eat beef. <laughs> There's also an app called Happy Cow where you can... It tells you where all the vegan vegetarian places are. Yeah, well, there's heaps out. Let's take it off. See their little faces? And they don't really cry in sanctuaries, eh? No, they don't. No, they're terrified on them trucks, eh? They smell dead. Do you reckon they look like dinner? But when you take them away from their natural state, chop them up into pieces, put them in a plastic wrapping, mm. just fry them on a pan with some seasonings, you disassociated the meat from the animal. Yeah. like I said, no, that's good. Yeah. And that's what I, you know what? That is the first step for me. I was, I realised I was a hypocrite for six months before I changed. But all I needed to do was, okay, I've admitted to myself that I'm a hypocrite. I'd say I care about animals, but I'm eating a big steak, and I knew that. And it was just a matter of time before I aligned my actions with my values. And then I felt like I wasn't inconsistent. Mm. Anyway, I look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, no. Hey, what was your name? Joey. Yes. I'm Joey Carbstrong. Here, let me just write down my YouTube channel so you got it. Where's your card? I haven't thrown it out yet. You haven't thrown it on the floor? Yeah, he hasn't no. thrown it on the floor yet. Still got it. Facebook, YouTube. You ever tried to look in a cow's eyes? I would have to watch you guys. Yeah. Make sure you don't look on the road again. Yeah. I don't have a chance to look at them. Everyone thinks it's pretty funny. But... And we don't think this is funny at all, man. We don't think cows getting slaughtered is funny at all. Okay, that's not the argument I'm making. What I'm talking about is the law that's been breaking this day by going off the road. It's just, it's not a really a point of making it safe. It's about protecting the industry and not getting those animals' faces out there. I mean, that's all the slaughterhouse wants. And that's what you guys are here to do. If there was nothing wrong with it, why can't we see the animals, you know? That's the thing. If there was nothing wrong with this, they know there's something wrong with it. People would stop buying it if they knew what was going on. Have you